I, Natalie Catherine. I, Natalie Catherine. Take you, Luke William. Take you, Luke William. To be my husband. To be my husband. To have and to hold. To have and to hold. From this day forward. From this day forward. For better, for worse. For better, for worse. For richer, for poorer. Oh. <laughs> richer for poorer. In sickness and in health. <laughs> I've done so well <laughs> up to this point. In sickness and in health. To love and to cherish. To love and to, che to cherish. Till death us do part. Till death us do part. According to God's holy law. According to God's holy law. In the presence of God I make this vow. In the presence of God I make this vow. We met out in a, on a night out in Wakefield nine years ago. I met her out, I could hardly stand up. I was being propped up by two other blokes and one of my other friends who weren't here today were chatting to her. I was not interested at that point, I just wanted my bed. She spotted me just swaying. And to this day, I always uh, remember it because she says, I thought you looked mysterious. <laughs> so I thought, mysterious, yeah, I'll go with that, go with that. <laughs> The morning after, I could not remember what she looked like. I said to James, we, we, we arranged to meet, I said, can you send me a picture? She was like, why, don't you remember what I look like? I was like, no, I just want to show my friends how fit you are. <laughs> I could not remember what she looked like at all. So she sent me a picture with the, the old famous pout. And I was like, yeah, not bad, not bad at all. I'll give her a 12. Things were going great for me and Luke, but it was all to change up one cold December evening in 2007. We started drinking early on our way to Serena's birthday celebrations. We ended up in Quest nightclub. 20 minutes before the night was over and Luke had pulled, but the clock was ticking. The nightclub lights boomed on and there was a mad rush to the takeaway. We congregated in the kebab shop and Luke was still with his mystery girl. We had to leave. Derek from A1 Cabs wasn't going to wait. <laughs> Get in the minibus, shouted Serena. You'll never see her again anyway. <laughs> the mystery girl was, of course, Natalie, and he didn't stop talking about her all the way home. He also did not like his dance at curry. A spark was lit for Luke that night, and even though he struggled to remember her name or what colour her hair was, <laughs> he knew that Natalie was the one. Our first date was in a pub. I had no idea what I was going to meet. So I said to James, ring me at 10. Tell me the dog's broke its leg. So I'm sat there, met Natalie, and she walked to the car and I was like, winner, winner. We were sat in the pub, couldn't get a word in. Thought that'll do for me. I'm not right good talker, as you can tell. <laughs> um, and then Jimmy phoned me at 10. What are you phoning me for? Your dog's broke its leg. I don't even have a dog. <laughs> she went away on a Hindu for two days, three days and I just locked myself in house. And I had Isabella sat there in a nappy for three days. <laughs> Only just managed to change it. And I was just a hermit, basically. I can't cope without her. I literally am half the man without her. I, I thought, I, I, when I was growing up, ah, yeah, I'm this you know, single-minded man, I can conquer the world. I can't, I can't, not without her. Honestly, I cannot. I'm turning into Steve Brock's up. I don't know where toaster is anymore. I don't know how to make a cup of tea. She is my right arm, my left arm. She's everything to me. I love you to pieces. I love the bones of you. I want to do everything for you. I want to provide for you the best I can. You've given me the best present I could ever wish for, and that's our daughter. I just feel truly blessed to have two beautiful girls on my arm. Um, they are really like angels, and I love them to pieces. <laughs>